Hey guys, welcome back to Norway. So spring is really uh, just about gone now and summer is here. We're having some crazy hot weather these days and yesterday was the peak. We were having average of uh, in the high 90s, peaking at over 100. And that's pretty hot for being Norway. I live in the southeast, southeastern part and uh, it is warmer here than it is in general, but still, the peaking at 100 or just over 100, that is hot. Couldn't be outside yesterday, it was just too hot. And well, so as spring is on the decline, dandelion is starting to, I'll show you here one. Dandelions are now going into seed pods. And what I wanted to try I'm going to forage today, just pick as many dandelions as I can that are still flowering and I will take the petals um, as much as I can. I will take off all the green just using the petals. I will put it in water. I will uh, let it sit in water for a while, a few hours and uh, tonight I thought I would uh, put up a fire and uh, I'll just let the water simmer getting all the juices out of the petals and uh, see what I end up with. I'm not sure what I'm going to end up with, but uh, I'm hoping it should be quite so uh, quite a soothing uh, drink. So stay with me and uh, we'll see what we get. Thank you. Find myself find myself a nice place in the shade here and um, this is my gathering bag. And just a few minutes stroll in the backyard and uh, I fill this. This is quite a big bag. Um, and I've filled this quite well up. So what I'm going to do now, I have a uh, plastic container. Takes about oh, about a liter. And you'll notice I'm wearing uh, natural gloves. Oh. I have a lot of these because I use them when I'm uh, working on engines and stuff. Usually, because that saves from drying out the skin with oil, uh, oils and all that. But what I'm going to do now, and it, once when I'm uh, harvesting flower heads like these or dandelions, in any case, the taste from the stem and that white sap that'll really stick to your skin and uh, can taste bitter for a long time. And you can see just how my uh, gloves are looking, and they don't stick as well to the glove. But you can also see that there's a lot of pollen. Uh, so yeah, but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take each flower head, hold it very, very firm, take off all the green, and then take all the flower heads, put it into the plastic jar, and just do that with everything and see how much I end up with. It's a tedious job, but hey, hopefully it'll be worth it in the end, right? This jug is now about a third full, and uh, I've uh, probably taken about about a third out of my gathering bag. But I thought I'd show you on one here that one. What I like to do is the center of the dandelion. Be sure to get that. So I just take in, I just grab it in the center, tear out the center because in there you have all the pollen seeds and all the sugars and all the good flavors take as much as the take as much of the petals as you can uh, without getting too much of the greens with you you will get some greens inevitably but hey i thought i would um, try and uh, maybe do a double boil on this well not boil but a double simmer first just let it simmer for oh i don't know a good couple of hours maybe more with the uh, with the flower petals in, and then once I've done that, I uh, strain it, and I'll reduce it down to see if I can get a sort of a syrup, dandelion syrup maybe. Should be syrupy and um, very sugary. Hopefully, very tasty. I'm gonna do that later today, and um, I'll let you know how how I get along. But for now, I'm stuck to doing this. Tedious, but hopefully rewarding.
Some of them are easier to do than others, but hey. No pain, no gain. Once you get into a rhythm, it get easy. Well, all right, there's that all done. Feels like I've done a couple of thousand flower petals or heads, but I'm guessing it's about three, maybe 400 to get this jar. This is about half full now, just over half full. So what I thought I'd do to start it off is I will put this at maybe three quarters full, maybe even full with uh, tapid water and because the sun is peaking at well into the hundreds again today I'm just gonna leave it outside to start infuse and uh, tonight or this evening I thought I would uh, give it a boil up and let it simmer for about an hour uh, strain it and uh, then I'll just reduce it by letting it simmer for however long that takes so thank you for watching this guys I know I've been speaking a lot about dandelions lately but um, I love them and uh, Let's see what the results is.